But to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. John 1.12 Hello my love muffins, how are you doing today? I hope you guys are having a lovely day. So in this video today, I'm going to show you how I have transformed myself from this ugly duckling to becoming this beautiful swan. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, please stay tuned. So taking my P. Louise eyeshadow base, I'm just going to place that all over my eyelid and then taking this fluffy brush and just blending it out and patting it in so it basically goes all over my eyelid and I'll have a blank canvas to work with. So I'm just going to take my Carnival XL Pro palette by Be Perfect and I will be using the shades, the first burgundy shade right in the middle. That's going to be the first shade that I will use to carve out my crease. So here I'm just taking a small pencil brush and then just carving out where I want my crease to start from. And then as I'm doing that, I'm also just blending it upwards and then taking another shade and blending that also upwards into my brow bone, into my brow, my brow bone, I don't know. So you're just going to blend the edges of that first eyeshadow shade that I used and this will give it a gradient look. And then what you'll see me do in a minute is go with a lighter shade, a lighter pink, pinky shade. And again, just blending this second eyeshadow that I use upwards into my brows. So now what I'm going to do is just go back and forth with all of the brushes that I used. So going in with the first brush that I used for the first shade, just to intensify that shade a little bit more. And then I'll go with the brush I used for the second shade to blend out what I've just done. And then go in with the brush I used for the last shade and then blend that out. I hope that makes sense. So here I'm just gonna cut my crease using makeup wipes and the tail end of my tweezer, just to get that sharp cut. And then going back in with my P. Louise eyeshadow base to cut the crease, just making sure I get a nice curve. You want to be careful with this. For me anyway, I still take my time when I'm cutting my crease because I, I like to have a sharp cut, even though sometimes it doesn't come out sharp, but you just have to keep practicing. Practice makes progress. So yeah, just keep practicing. If this is a kind of look that you like to do, but not sure how to do it, just keep doing it and one day you'll get better. So now just applying that eyeshadow base all over my lid for again, that blank canvas, and it will help to make all of the eyeshadows that I'll be using Pop. and then just taking this uh, this brush again to kind of pat down the excess that I have on my eyelid. Now going back into my Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro palette, just taking the first shade that I used to cut my crease, just applying that on the outer V of my eyelids. All of the shades that I used will be in the description bar below, so please check that out. I think this look is quite easy because all you're doing is just layering shades on top of each other. And then I've added a pink shade and now just adding an orange shade if you want to achieve a look like this but not too sure where to start or you think it might be a bit scary just keep coming back to this video and I promise you the more you do it the better you will become so again taking the yellow shade just kind of overlapping the orange shade that will really help with the blending process and then taking a blue I miss I think I was supposed to add a green in between the yellow and the blue but I went in with the blue and again just overlapping a little bit of it on with a yellow shade. I hope this is making sense, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna sip some water. Okay, now going in with the last shade, which is this lavender shade. I'm just putting that right at the inner corners of my eye um, to sort of complete the look. And then what you're gonna see me do here is apply the green eyeshadow shade that I was supposed to put in between the yellow and the blue. So you see, I mean, makeup is made up. Mistakes can happen. It's just a case of, how you're going to rectify it. Yeah, so just grabbing my eyeliner, and this is Lac Liner I got from She Glam, which is the Shein makeup brand. This eyeliner is so good. Like, oh my gosh, I literally, it's, it's amazing. I don't think I've ever had one as dark as this um, eye, eyeliner is. So now I finished with the eye, and I'm gonna go into the face. Just taking my e.l.f. Cool Mint Primer, I think, to um, prime my, my, my whole face and just patting that in. And going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in deep. I love using this concealer to color correct because it has like a peachy, orangey um, undertone to it. Now going in with my foundation and just applying it all over my face. Now using my beauty blender to make sure everything is blended in properly. Now I'm just concealer I'm using to conceal, highlight and 
contour my face okay so now I'm just blending out the contour first and then I will go ahead and blend my concealer and highlighter so with your highlighter you put in areas that you want to bring forward so underneath the eyes the bridge of your nose the tip of your nose and your chin and your cupid's bow and then for contouring you have to contour to the shape of your face for me I have a forehead so I contour the size of my face to kind of make it a little bit smaller and then I'm blending all of that in and I'm just taking my elf blush and just placing it on the highest not the highest point on my cheekbones and then blending that in just so everything is blended in and seamless now this RMCA no color powder is everything like yo so using that first of all to set my under eye and all of the places that I've highlighted so my under eye the bridge of my nose my forehead my cupid's bow and my chin and then going in with my Juvia's Place contour palette and I'm just setting the areas that I contoured so whenever you use a cream product you want to set it with a powder product and then also using that same palette to contour the bridge of my nose and just getting that snatched nose honey so now taking my Juvia's Place blush palette again just setting my blush really and I'm taking another setting powder just to bake underneath my eye because I know I will be adding eyeshadow to my bottom lash line now setting my whole face with my face powder which is the matte mineralized skin finish powder going in with my eyeshadow palette using the first shade that I use to cut my crease just going to use that to line my waterline and then I'll go ahead and blend it out with the pink shades that I used to blend my eyelids now here what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get that color in my waterline but because of the way my eye is set up and gets watery I just thought to myself you know what nah let's allow it going in with my mascara and my lashes and just trying to get this makeup done and dusted before my eye starts getting watery okay so now just taking my brush and dusting off the excess powder from underneath my eye now I do apologize that my hand and my mirror was blocking your view however with the way my eye is set up I have to have my mirror right up in my face in order for me to see what I'm doing. Now just taking my Barry M lip liner in chocolate. I love this lip liner so much. Using it to line all around my lips and this is this is literally lip liner I use every time. So I realized I hadn't set the concealer that I put around my mouth so I went ahead and set that with my setting powder and then dusted it off with my face powder. Then taking this lipstick, this is a pink lipstick from Kate Moss's range from back back in the day and placing that in the center of my lip and going in with a clay gloss from NYX and then using this pink lip gloss again from Maybelline I think it was to kind of bring all of the lip look together and then I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the highest point of my cheek the bridge of my nose the tip of my nose my chin all of that goodness to you know get the look ah. And then I'm gonna take this NYX Dewy Spray and then spray it all over my face and voila, the look is done. This is the final look guys. Thank you again for watching. If you got to the end, you're a real G. I love you so much. Thank you again for the new subscribers. I love you so much. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.